A large circular lake has the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. A rowing club has a boathouse at the point A25 on the edge of the lake. So here we have a circular lake and here we have the point A which is where we have the boathouse. So the circle has the equation of x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y minus 3 equals 0. And this point A, where the boathouse is, is the point 2, 5. And this is the edge of the lake. It is proposed to build a straight road, T, to pass the boathouse as a tangent to the lake. So remember, a tangent is a line that touch, touches a circle or a curve at one point only. So this line here would be a tangent with one point of contact or one point of intersection. Find the equation of the road. So that we need the equation of this line. So the lake has the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. And it has a center of minus 1, 3. So what we do is take the coefficient of x, which is 2, we half it, which is 1, and change the sign to get minus 1 for our x value. Then we take the coefficient of y, which is minus 6, we half it, which is minus 3, and change the sign, which is 3. So this center point here is minus 1, 3. The radius r, which joins a and b, has a slope of... So we're going to use this formula for slope, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So labeling our point A, which is 2, 5, and our point B, which is minus 1, 3, as x1, y1, x2, y2. It doesn't matter which way you label them. So substituting into our slope formula, we'll end up with 5 minus 3 divided by 2 minus minus 1, which is 2 plus 1. And this simplifies to 2 over 3. So the slope of this line is 2 over 3. Therefore, the tangent, T, has a slope of minus 3 over 2. So to get the slope of the tangent, we turn the fraction upside down and change the sign. So 2 over 3 becomes minus 3 over 2. And we can check are we right by multiplying the slopes. 2 over 3 multiplied by minus 3 over 2 gives us minus 1. And perpendicular slopes multiplied together should always give us minus 1. So the equation of t we're going to use the formula for the equation of a line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So for this equation, we need a single point on that line. So we're going to go with the point A, which is the point of contact, which is 2, 5. We label it x1, y1, and we need the slope, which we just worked out to be minus 3 over 2. Subbing into the formula, we get y minus 5 equals minus 3 over 2 times x minus 2. Then we can simplify. So to get rid of this fraction, we can multiply across by 2. So we end up with 2 times y minus 5 equals minus 3 times x minus 2. Then multiplying out the brackets, 2 by y is 2y, 2 by minus 5 minus 10 equals minus 3 by x minus 3x minus 3 by minus 2 plus 6. And then simplifying, we bring the x's and the y's over on the left. The y is already on the left. The minus 3x comes over and becomes positive 3x. And then we're going to bring the minus 10 over the equal sign. And it becomes plus 10, and 10 plus 6 is 16. So end up with 3x plus 2y is equal to 16. Now, they didn't ask us to specifically write it in this form, so any of these um, answers would do, or you could have it in the form of y equals mx plus c. But be careful, because if they do ask you to write it in a certain way, you have to do that or you will lose marks.